Hey, what's up guys? I am Sam and today I'm going to teach you how to do chroma keying in After Effects. So let me show you an example of what can be done with the magic of chroma keying. Alright, so you'll only get to know the difference if I show you the original footage or the raw footage that I used for this thing. Alright, so this is the raw footage that I used. You can see the face. I'm a professional actor now. So in this tutorial, I will teach you how to do chroma keying. Not only green screens or blue screens or red screens, you can key out any solid backgrounds if you do these things correctly. Alright, so let's get started. I'll take the raw footage and drop it on this button which will create a new composition. Perfect. Now, now as you can see, we have a lot of part that is waste. I mean like, we don't need this part on the right side and also on the left. We don't need this part. So we're gonna crop it with this rectangle tool maybe perfect now what we need to do is key out the background that means the green color in this case so we're gonna go to effect keying and key light I will use this color picker to choose the green color and I prefer to choose brighter parts of the screen so that we get a good key now we can see that most of the work is already done but we need to get rid of these white edges so what we're gonna need to do is turn the screen gain to 110 alright so to make this look even better we can change the view to screen matte and what we need to do is make the blacks more black and the white more white sorry for being racist but we need to do this to get a perfect key so I apologize for that so we will open the screen matte and we can turn down the clip white and turn up the clip black that looks really great but yeah we can, we can use this alright this looks good so we'll switch back to the final result now what else you can do is you can increase the screen balance to maybe 60 or 70 the basic thing is you need to play with these values to get the look that you want now to fix this white edge that we are getting, we can go to Effect, Matte and Simple Choker. I can choke this uh, to just reduce the white edge. Just don't overdo it, maybe set it to 2 and that will do. So you can actually see the difference. Alright, so let's add the background. So I used this background in my previous example and this looks pretty awesome so what we need to do is color correct it now so like in this example I used a dark blue or dark green tone and I also like to use this crop at the top and bottom so we can just so I can just place it like here and then we can move our layer to wherever we want and that's good all right so we'll color correct our footage to match the background so you can see the background is less saturated in comparison to our the green screen layer or the footage so what we need to do is desaturate our footage so go to effect color correction hue and saturation so we'll just desaturate it a bit decrease the master saturation and Maybe increase the mass of lightness a bit. Just like me, like one. Alright. Alright, so let's match the color tone of the footage with the background. So we can go to effect, color correction, and curves. So as we can see, we have more of the reds over here. So we can increase the reds. And we have a little bit of green too. So we can increase the green. A little bit and increased blue just a bit so this looks pretty good as you can see the difference if I just shut off both of these things I did a pretty great job All right so let's add an overall color correction on the top so we can create a new adjustment layer then go to effect and color correction and I like to use hue and saturation once again to desaturate all this 
like minus 10 maybe uh, or maybe minus 20 and then increase the master lightness to maybe 3 and then go to effect color correction curves and what I like to do is give it a contrast curve on the reds and then give a contrast curve on green then go to the blue channel and decrease it from this side and move this above a bit so this looks pretty great what we need to do is desaturate our original footage a bit more like minus 45 maybe looks good and just move this below the crop layer so that we don't color correct the crop what we can do is just add an overall tint just decrease the saturation all right all right so what I feel is to increase the brightness of our footage so we can go to effect and color correction and brightness and contrast and increase the brightness a bit all right so what i like to do is create a new adjustment layer and then select the ellipse tool double click on it and then go to effect color correction curves and darken this thing and set the mask to subtract then click F on the keyboard and feather it make sure to just rename these layers so we know what each layer is this is color correction now in the original example you can see that we have a more darker tone and we also have a bit of camera movement that can be added through keyframing the positions and at the end we can add an overall contrast we can use curves for that Darken it a bit. So we just take this snapshot and just take our original footage. So now you can see the difference. And we also got ourselves skied. So that looks really great. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I hope you all liked this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Bye.